Hey, yo, I'm Carlin. I'm Narika. I'm Carlin. Did I say that? Yes, you did. You shouted no, it. I'm the, and this is the bench. The bench. The bench. The bench. The bench. Welcome to the bench. How are you doing, fam? I'm okay. So you yeah. kicked it up. No one's going to know. No, no, Wrong no. It's team. just, it's just uh, NFL fever. That's what it is. Not a Super Bowl just winning Super, team. Not a Super Bowl winning team, but, but just NFL fever. You know? Sports, other sports. We do watch other sports other we than do. football. We so do watch just, other sports. Did you uh, watch it? Yeah, I did. I watched, uh, I watched a couple. Second off. First off, I thought I was going to stay up. But then, you know, time zone difference and sleep and stuff. It was it was tough. So, I woke up for the second off. I watched some of that. What's the... Had Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige was out there. She's doing it all for the, the single 40-year-old woman. That's Colin's favourite artist. Yeah, shout out Mary. Mary is Colin's yeah. favourite, favourite, favourite yeah. artist. But I think it was interesting. I think that's a very big sporting event in the north. Oh, it is! Here. It is! It is! If we went to North America, we would want to go watch a Super Bowl. But the tickets are hella expensive. So are they? Yeah, you probably have to like sell your house. Your house? Watch. I yeah. don't own a house. Yeah. Probably so have to we sell never going. A liver. A liver, a kidney. Half a liver, yeah. one kidney. Put somebody off for like kidnapping, right? Pictures so. of your feet. Yeah. Oh. Mine would sell more than yours. That right. is cap. You are yeah. capping. That is a lie. Something else that's also happening mm-hmm. in the world of sport before we bring it back home. Winter Olympics. Yeah, I feel like we are like in winter weather. So it is apt that we talk about winter Olympics. I don't think Olympics. this is winter this is, it's, 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 it's Contextual it's gloomy, by Durban standards. It's like cold, you know. Got so it. cold, Got winter, winter Olympics. Yes, it is happening. Winter Olympics is hectic, eh? Beijing 2022. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, no. There's like six athletes. Yeah. From Africa. Mm-hmm. There could be more. Yeah. But I, I was reading an article about six athletes to watch. None of them from South Africa. Do you know what sport they compete in? It's like skiing. And that's odd, though, because we don't have, like, really, you know? I think they that do, kind of like, in East Africa. Kilimanjaro. Yeah, I know, like, Kilimanjaro is probably the main one. But, I mean, like, if you compare us to countries that compete in... Snow, so, You know, it's main majority snow everywhere. Do you think so. they practice on, like, sand dunes? No, no, no. Oh, and you then. could, but I think it's, like, mainly artificial, like, arenas and mainly, stuff. Mainly, mainly. No, or, there is or, that, or just overseas. There's that artificial skiing resort here somewhere oh, right? in Lesotho, <sighs> South Africa. The Fontaine. Something like that. Tiffontaine. Yeah, I think that's what no, it's called. No, that's not what it's called. That's, that's, that's a the horse. Tiffin, Tiffindale. Tiffindale. Something like that. That sounds like a chipmunk. Yeah, Try again. It does. No, time. you don't even know what it's called. I don't know what it, so I didn't claim to know what it's, it's called. It's called Tiffin something. You were throwing out yes. names. Yeah. If you were in the Winter Olympics, Winter Olympics, what sport would you be Winter Olympics? Bobsled. And then... <laughs> It has to be bobsled, bro. It I has to. Were well, you telling me Jamaica? Yeah, Jamaica finally has a bobsled team. It's not. It's not. Jamaica, it's not, we got a bobsled right? team. It's not in the movies anymore. It's, it's real like life. Legit. It's art. It's just real life replicating art. That's what it is. That's super cool. That's Feel super the cool. rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Something, something. It's bobsled time. Go, hey, yo. Yeah. Iconic, iconic yeah. movie. If you haven't watched it, <laughs> you're probably too young for everyone. Other big news from the week, Valentine's Day. It's in the week. Yeah, it is today. Well, it's today of shooting. Uh, when uh, you see it, Valentine's yeah. Day would have been over. Your heart would be already broken. Chocolates would be 50% off. All right. Or expired. Or, or eaten. Or Depends eaten. Depends how your Valentine's Day went. You would have... By the time you're watching this, you would have found out that you weren't the Valentine's Day. Right. You would have... Buy a WhatsApp or Instagram story. Tough out there. <laughs> Tough out there. You got I any Valentine's? Be- no, man. I don't believe in it. Why? Money-making scheme, fam. <sighs> America, it's fine to say that you didn't have that person. It's okay. Save space. Just say you shot your shot. Football's my Valentine. Okay. All right. Football's my Valentine. Sports, send your, sports send is, your heart emojis for Nerika. Sports America. is my Valentine. Condolences. Why can't sport be my Valentine? It can. It can. I mean, it's not bad. Sports my. Va- what about you, Valentine's? Nah. I mean. So you don't have a Valentine? I do. I do. I do. Do you wanna? Share with Tell our fam? No, but they know who they are. Is it mom? Mom doesn't count. Oh, don't break my heart like that, fam. <laughs> don't break my heart. Your like mother that. doesn't count. Mother is <laughs> your forever Valentine. Just because she leaves you chocolates. She every year walked for in the my past room. She walked in my room and she was like, Happy Valentine's Day. I was like, Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. And she's wearing red. Yeah, and she's wearing red. on brand for our mom. Yeah. Always red, always for Valentine's yeah. Day. Shout out parents of Valentine's Hope Day. Hope you guys did not get your heart broken. Mm-hmm. Like some of the teams. 
in the Netbank Cup that happened this yeah. past week, we are going to talk about Netbank Cup, the round of 32 games that have happened. I feel like we should go to televised, non-televised, and then just speed round because it's 16 matches, fam. Okay, let's go through non-televised quickly. Okay. Okay. We're going to one, one, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Venda, three. African All-Stars, one. Stellenbosch, zero. Baraka, one. Sinenkani, one. Free State Stars, one. Sinenkani, one. Eight, seven on penalties. NC Pro, zero. Two, two. Matai Tai. Matai Tai. <laughs> Yo. Platinum City Rovers, one. One, Sekukune United. Platinum City Rovers, one. <laughs> 3-2 on pins. That's a shocker. We'll come back to that. Yeah. Black Eagles 3 to Sibutsa. Right. Okay, big shockers. Still on losing to Baraka FC. Yes. And then, as you rightly said, Sekukune losing to Platinum City Rovers. Right. Uh, the, uh, the rest is like, it's, it's, it's cool to see teams like Venda FC. You never ever heard of them. Matai Tai. Matai Tai. Even NC Pros. Like all the other teams, it's really smaller teams in the Netbank Cup. So, cool to see them compete. Unfortunate that the games weren't televised because it's really great for the smaller teams to get that exposure. 100%. But yeah, for players, for clubs, yeah. for all of it. Yeah. Games that were televised. Okay. Let's go. Utongati lost 1 0 to Summerfield Dynamos. Kezeden Derby. Kezeden Derby. Derby. Dynamos are from Chatsworth. From Chatsworth, yeah. from the sections. Yeah. Um, probably have a cousin playing there. Definitely. I feel like we should. I it's interesting. I mean, like when we were talking about KZN teams being in the in the Nebian Cup, yeah. these two teams really went under radar. I 100%. feel like people were like Amazulu's knocked out, mm. and then Mertzburg got knocked out. You know, but well, M lost like you know, and then nobody actually realized that there were two other KZN teams, yes. and then a Durban-based team yes. in Summerfield Dynamos. You know, so what a name! It is Dynamos a name. Yeah. beating. So they currently play in the ABC Motsepe League, yeah. which is third year in in. In in football, yeah. We're gonna need another episode to speak about the way we name our leagues. Yeah. ABC Mutsepe League. ABC Basics, you know, and then Mutsepe because we know. Who, I get it. Who sponsored it. it? Yeah. I get it. I get it. And Clinton Larson is coaching the Dynamos. Yeah, former Bloemfontein Celtic coach. I think he's a South African footballing legend. You know, he used to play for Manning Rangers. So, I think this is. If you looked at his post match, uh -huh. you know, the team did win one 0 And if you looked at his post match. He was very thankful for the chairman, he was thankful to the players and then also he was pushing mm -hmm. the pushing the agenda that this is a project that they're trying to build, you know, in the community of Chatsworth and it's just like more of a passion project because this is somebody who coached in the PSL before, yeah. you know. Established coach in South African football should not really be coaching in the third division yes. of football, you know. So somebody as big as that can go down in the leagues and actually put the knowledge that he has to, to the build youth. and you know develop. development in South African football. Growth. Shout out Clinton Larson. So it just shows that hopefully they can go further in the Nepal Cup. Uh, a 1 0 1 against a Glad Africa team in Tongati FC. It's big, big, big news, guys. Who used to have Ivory Coast number one playing for them, you know? It's big news. It's big news. This, this is why we watch Nepal Cup. Shout out to Summerfield Dynamo. I wonder where Summerfield is. Super Sport beat Marisburg United um, 1 0. Yeah. Now the KZN team knocked out. <sighs> Marisburg, hot and cold. Hot and cold. I mean, it's kind of weird where you look at the off-field stuff for Marisburg. They making like good moves in the Big boardroom, you know, things. collaborations with overseas clubs yeah. and stuff. But like on the pitch, eh? It's not. It's not really working. It's not reciprocating, fam. It's just. It's not. They're not giving not, us what we needed to not, give. It's not. It's not giving what it's needed to give. It's, it's not giving yeah. what it's needing to give. Um, Maruma Gallets beating Santos 2-0. Two goals from Sede Dion. I mean, two goals in the cup competition, really putting your name out there. Santos, on the other hand, I mean, we did hype them up. It was nice to see them actually playing, you know, televised 100%. football again, playing against a bigger team. 100%. But the run is over. Yes. You know, but are we surprised? Because the same players who play for Gallants won this cup competition last season. Experience. So, experience. They know what it takes to win the cup competition. And I think, contrary to their league form, this is where the smaller teams thrive. So maybe there's another finals run in there. You just called them a smaller team. Oh, the Marumuga is definitely a smaller team. I ain't afraid to say it. They went to continental football. Barely. But they were there. They were there. They and were now there. they're not there. But okay. Not a smaller yeah. team. But 
They were there. Okay. Just saying. Okay. Admit to that. Still waiting for a Santa shirt. It's tough. DM me, guys. <laughs> Hook me up. Get me a Santa Just, shirt. We are willing to purchase it. How do I get a Santa shirt? We are willing to purchase the shirt. Preferably an OG one. But if it's a new one, that's fine as well. Yeah. DM me so that I can get a Santa shirt. Santos, if you're watching this, I... Me. Hey, yo, even a Summerfield Dynamo shirt. Even a Summerfield Dynamo. Because we are from yeah. Durban. 100%. No. But Shout I feel out. like we could DM an uncle being yeah. like, hey, hey yo, like do, you, do you know my dad yeah, and my know, uncle connection. from the sections? I'd rather rip the smaller teams than the bigger PSL teams at this point, you know? No, I mean like, you know, giving them support, wearing their colors, wearing them, you know, giving them exposure, you know? Okay. Yeah. Better news for KZN team. Royal AM beat K-Town City 2-1. So Royal AM did go a goal down. Uh, Mayo. Can you say Mayo? Yeah, he's Mayo. been, he's been Mayo. bowling. So Cape Town City 1-0 no, up. Yeah. And then unfortunately... Own goal. 1-1. One, one. Collapse. Yes. Royal AM 2-1 up. I think it was a free kick. Yeah, and it was just like five minutes after each other also. So it just shows another collapse for Cape Town City. But John Maduka football in full effect in Royal AM is going off over there. You know, and that's another team that's technically based in Chatsworth. Yes. Also. So now you have Summerfield Dynamos and Royal AM in the round of... 16. 16. 16. And if they... 2, 16. Quick mass. Draw up against the United States. We don't States, want that though. You're going to have a chest of Derby. And when's the last time we've ever seen that? They don't... We're not allowed in the stadium. We aren't allowed in the stadium. But there are ways that we may find ourselves there. I saw someone climb a tree. There's trees around Chatsworth Stadium. Right. If you climb a tree and sit in the tree, mm -hmm. you can watch the game. You might just see us there. In the tree? Mm -hmm. I don't think I can climb a tree. Yeah, bad news. Bad no, news. I, I think I'm afraid of heights. I'm not. I'm not 100% convinced, but I think I'm afraid of heights. Don't listen to me. But I'm not 100% convinced. But yeah, really, um, like, they play. I don't know. I feel like because of the off the field. Yeah. The owners. Sh antics. Just like all the stuff that yeah. happens off the field, you want to disregard them. But they've gone through a season where they've beaten bigger teams, yep. like the likes of Kaiser Chiefs. They are progressing in tournaments. Yeah. They are in the top eight. Like, they're winning. They're catching dubs. They are doing things that people didn't really expect them from first. I mean, when we spoke to John Maduka, he was like, at the beginning of the season, really, yeah. these aren't your objectives because of the whole shift in the club. Yeah. But as the team carries on progressing and they win games, you got to switch your objectives off them. And 100%. I think now... At the beginning of the season, nobody really gave them a chance. Mm -hmm. But then now they've really grown into what they are. And they are into, forced, into, forced to be reckoned with. It's a team that collects dubs. Right. Talking about one of Colin's favorite games this weekend. Because okay. the Chiefs caught an L to TS Galaxy. 1-0. L. Because the Chiefs out of, the, out of a trophy. What happened? What happened, Keegan? They... Hey... Hey. Augustine Quim. I'm not gonna say it. Quim. But I'm gonna say it. My hitter. The way the team was set up, maybe we did deserve to get knocked out. Okay. It was unlucky. We created chances. We had solid play, but then it was down to individual mistakes. And that's how Kaiser Chiefs conceded of an individual mistake and that's something you can't do, especially in a cup competition. And a bona fide striker like Augustine Quim is going to take advantage of that. And he did score the goal. So, well done to TS Galaxy. How long can Baxter keep his job for? Not very long at this point. Who replaces Baxter? I feel like Kaiser Chiefs... Guys, you guys are running through yeah, running options. Through, running through the whole league. Running at this through. Point. At this point, I might as well go do my coaching license, you know, become right. a certified coach, and then put my name out there saying I'll coach first team Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, it's, it's tough out here. I wish I had the answer. At this point, I'm clueless. At this point, I'm like, hey, yo, like. <laughs> Sounds like the Glamour Boys are down bad. Any, anybody come through and like save this club at this point? Because I mean, sure, let's get, let's get this wrong. Stuart Baxter did do some good. Yes. During the season. Uh huh. And the league is not that bad. Okay. But I mean, now the league is gone. So you, at the end of the season, you do want a trophy, and now trophies are also out. And the, the fan base wants trophies. That's all we want. But yeah, Stuart Baxter, I think time is ticking. The same situation what happened with Malum Kev last season, where yeah. the seat is hot. Just seems like uh, the Glamour Boys and their fan squad. You guys are down bad. Heartbreak over the weekend. Heartbreak on Valentine's Day. Like, what do you guys do? We will be back. Bounce back. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so that was the Netbank Cup round of 32. We are down to 16 teams. It's getting interesting. And if you are in KZN, there are two KZN teams mm -hmm. to be looking out for. Yep. Summerfield Dynamos yep. and Royal AM. Yep. Opposite sides of the spectrum, but we have a bias for KZN teams. Um, if you're a Kaiser Chiefs supporter, you don't even have to worry about it. It doesn't involve you. There was also some Continental Football, CAF Champions and Confederation Cup. Um, Orlando Pirates managed to beat J.S. Sura from Algeria 2-0. Mm -hmm. Got goals from Happy Jele and Bandile Shandu. Good. Start to the, the campaign. I mean, that's two defenders who came up with the goals. So uh -huh. it just speaks to Kaiser Chiefs' problem up front. That they, I mean, Orlando Pirates' problem up front. Sorry, I have Chiefs on my mind, fam. I haven't, I haven't gotten over it. Uh. But yeah, Pirates are really doing bad up front now creating chances and trying to score goals with their strikers coach Mandela even came out again and people questioned him as to why mango isn't playing mm -hmm. and then he gave his whole analysis okay as to why they aren't playing he said that yo malawi they don't really have competition so it's easy to go start there in afcon but then when you come back to the psr and you try to start in the psr who's this competition all right, so that's the thing. If somebody's not scoring in your in your club form, so what's the point of benching the guy? Mm. Yeah. Who is the competition? Yeah. But good stuff for Orlando Pirates in the Champions League. Um, just more heartbreak for KZN teams. More mm -hmm. heartbreak for Coach Benny. Mm -hmm. Amazulu lost one 0 to Raja Casablanca from Morocco. Not a great. Kind of expected though. They haven't been doing great. Or, I mean, Raja Casablanca is a. What can you say? A household name in African football. 100%. So it is, wasn't like an easier fixture for them to go against. Definitely not. For Amazulu to go and travel all the way that side of the world and then just try to get three points was a tough task. But yeah. first game, Champions League football, you have what? Five more to get it over and done with. So you can at least you know fix it. It's not over and done with. Mamelodi Sundowns then. Mm -hmm. Basically, at what point do we just say they've won the league? Now. Okay. Oh, the league's done. We know that. So, so Mamelodi Sundowns, league title in their cabinet. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Nepang Cup, as we spoke in the last episode, they beat Richards Bay 4-0. Yeah, no. On their way, maybe, to potentially win mm. that trophy. But yeah, we never maybe, know. Could maybe. be an upset. Could yeah. be upset. You never know. We know what Some happened Some of your dynamos so. yeah. out here mm -hmm. doing things. Upsets. Champions League, 1 0 win against Sudanese team Al, Al Hilal, goal from Temper Zone. And I mean, this is what? The third cliche in a row. Richards Bay 4 0, Chippy United 2 0, and then now Al Hilal 1 0. Yes. So it just shows both sides of that team is going off um, defensively. I think they could like. Offensively. They could start with an 11, and if football allowed 11 subs, they could oh, essentially like half -time, just. just Put on another 11. Put on another yeah, 11. That, that is could how. also win. They stacked. They stacked. I think they're probably one of the most stacked teams in the entire continent of Africa. For them to have the players that they have. There's some players who, like for example, George Maleleko was playing for Kaiser Chiefs. Isn't even starting. Or even isn't seeing game time for Sundowns at this point, you know. So you have stars. You have stars that you can turn to. And I think they're just fortunate. I think this is the season they're really trying to win Champions League. They that person, when you go to school and you get there in the morning, there's just roses in the locker, you know? Or you're in first period and people are knocking at the door and we're like, we have a Valentine's for... And another one. For so, you know? And another, sundowns. That's Sundowns. From this person. Right. Sundowns, another one. And now mm. you sitting... All the other teams are sitting there like, what about me, You're sitting there in your little burn book like, screw this person. <laughs> I wish they never ever get another Valentine's again. You know? Ah, uh, Sundowns are just captain of the football team. Yeah. 90% aggregates, mm -hmm. your mother's favorite child, Ooh. just doing yeah. it all, to be fair. Yeah. Not mad. Would love to see them. I'd love to see a clean sweep from a team. Would love to see them. Like, for South African football. Right. For the culture. Right. Can we see it from Potent Sundown? Potentially a triple. You potentially. Know? So it would be exciting. We've seen their women's team do it. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for the men to stand up. 100%. So that was Continent Football. Yes. Netbank Cup. Yes. There's always football on the go. Mm -hmm. DSTV Prem. Let us know. Drop a comment. Kaiser Chiefs fans, are you heartbroken? What needs to change at Kaiser Chiefs? I think every episode is just like, 
what needs to change at Kaiser Chiefs. Also, let us know what was what was your Valentine's Day plans? What did you mm. do, guys? Did you handpick flowers? Did you write sonnets? Picnics. Did you recite Drake songs? No, Ooh. Drake is not a no. Mm. Valentine. Nah. nah. Whitney Houston. Maybe. Yeah. Luther Van Ross. Yeah, that's where we go. That's Luda, the bag. That's Luda, the bag. Luda, Luda. That's the bag. You Mary J. Into. Blige with the shoulder. No. No, <laughs> no. nothing. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, it is only ever love. Bye.